so as you can see by the thumbnail of this, which I don't know how to induce. How do you cause this to happen when you're about when you're on the watch page of a YouTube video? I can only get it to accidentally happen. Is there a way I can make this on purpose? Anyway, wheelchair combat. <gasps> I am very interested in this topic because I am a dungeon master. I have played, and I'm about to finish my second level 1 to 20 5th edition campaign, so you know it's good. No one no one plays weekly D&D levels 1 to 20 twice unless you're having a good time, okay? So I feel like I feel like we're doing okay. I have lots of opinions about the design of 5th edition. Uh, there is by no means a single reason you can't have it, disabilities represented in characters with mechanics, with uh, any of the world. It's Dungeons and Dragons. You could do anything you want. I think they're going to appeal to, like, healing magic here? I don't want to get out ahead of myself, uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty fucking... It's pretty fucking bleak if you can't think of why someone might not have access to... Uh, paralysis healing, but it's whatever. Best campaign ever? Thank you. You're biased. You're in it. <laughs> what the fuck is that guy? Did they... I'm sorry, did they get rid of the old cast? I don't watch his intro, it's too loud. Welcome back to the watch and... What the fuck is this guy? What the fuck? No! I refuse. I like my night's watch with Fluffy and Skim Milk. Not this fucking goober. I'm calling you goober. Goddamn goober. Who is this? Get the fuck out of here. Unless you're better than skim milk or fluffy. Unless you have more entertaining things to say. You better... Is that me? We don't look anything alike. What are you talking about? This guy could easily be 2% milk. And that applies to you, our wonderful audience, as well as you, Oz. Welcome back. Oz? You're back? I've always been here in spirit. In just just couldn't see me because yes. I'm cloaked in invisibility. <laughs> oh god, he's not better. Who is that? Miracle Whip? Oz is one of the OG hosts. Yeah, I would never I would never accept Oz into my into my head canon of what's going on in this place. He's he's not accepted by me. Get out! Get that why I was always feeling a bit more retarded than normal. I was touched. What, what, what? Did I? Did he say what I thought he said? Just couldn't see me because yes. I'm cloaked in invisibility. Is that why I was always feeling a bit more retarded than normal? I was. He actually mumbles. I don't really know what he's saying. Did he just insult this man? He's touching you in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have him back. <laughs> now that was retarded. What I just said. Yeah. Let's see some. Oh yeah, they just keep they just keep going. Yeah. Excellent. I'm very excited. So the ableism has begun right away. This is just starting immediately. How is this monetized? They have new thick New Zealand accents. They can just say whatever they want. Okay. Look, as uh... wow, they're doing great. They have so much chemistry on screen. Please, more. <laughs> this is this is an interesting topic, okay? Uh, Does he wash himself? Does he have a wife? Does she have opinions on how he pr comports himself? Um, disability and fantasy, specifically wheelchairs, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I, the, the mouth slaps aren't good radio or whatever, or performance. I don't even know what he's trying to do. The... The... Faux dejection, I guess, is what it would be called. The the the, the playing up of his of his sort of I don't know disappointment at having wheelchairs in vi in not video games, certainly not video games. No, no, no not mine. In D and D, why can't we have them? I'm okay with it in <laughs> steampunk. <laughs> You're okay with it in steampunk? <laughs> yeah, as long as it's got like mechanical legs. Yeah, as long as there's some <laughs> steam or punk on the wheelchair. There are layers to this. You can do steampunk in D and D, by the way. And what's kind of odd about this? People might not be. D and D does not have a, a, a setting that you have to play in. Oh, you, I think you would guess for half of. What? Both Oz and I are disabled. Mm. That's why I said they could guess half. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it, Oz! Yeah, yeah, I'm impotent. <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> wow. Alright, no, well. this is the thing, right? What the fuck? They're just meandering in, like, vague ableism. And they're just sort of giggling? <laughs> I have chronic fatigue, and a lot of people aren't aware that that is, like, it's a full disability. What's chronic fatigue? Do you just feel fatigued all the time? What's it caused by? Myal my myalgic encephal encephalomyelitis? 
Myalgic encephalomyelitis is extreme fatigue that can't be explained by an underlying medical condition. It may get worse with activity. It doesn't improve with rest. The cause is unknown. Treatment focuses on symptom relief. Antidepressants, sleeping pills, physical therapy, and counseling. Hmm. Go. Hmm. Chronic fatigue? I bet you won't get this meme. Let's see. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. Yo, what? Me? I don't get that meme. Who is this guy? Like Anton Le- Whoa, and it's not, though. It's not LeVay. Who is this? Got a mustache. What do you... <laughs> throwback? Ma... Manos? Hands of Fate? What the fuck is that from? What is that? Why do so many of you know this? Look at you! Manos? Manos? What? Why do you guys know this thing? All of you? Literally every single person in my chat is like, uh uh-huh, duh! It's a shitty beam. I've never seen this. I watch a lot of movies. What the fuck are you guys talking about? 66? Why would I know this? It, was this a meme at some point? You can get it on Amazon Prime for 99 cents. It has one star. Is it just dog shit? Is this why? Lots of YouTubers have reviewed it. Oh, okay. So you guys are online and that's why. All right. I'm not online. Okay. I'm busy making the content. I'm watching it. Community movie night is a go. It's not on Prime. I can't. I, it's on Plex, I guess. Mystery Science watched it. MST3K. I've never seen an episode of MST3K. I, it used to be on sci-fi a lot, but I always switched the channel. It sort of bored me. <laughs> a lot of people thought that I was inspired by MST3K because I did, like, chick tracks and stuff, and that's not the case. Yeah. Sarah, rectify this. I'm good. Maybe. The movie is Hands, Hands of Fate. Well, Manos is... I said Manos because it's Hands in Spanish, but you said it was Manos. Dos Manos. It was made by a manure salesman and the actor on screen longest is literally on acid. Awesome. Chronic fatigue is definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this will be, here's my diagnosis. Let me weaponize my diagnosis. Say you can't have feelings about your diagnosis. Happens all the fucking time with ableism. Yeah, so he is a, he is ableist, but because he has a disability, he is going to say that uh, your representation is bad. Smart. Um, I think I'm probably technically qualifying for disability because my ankles are fucked and Sarah has uh, made me come off my stubborn pedestal and not try to tough it out so much all the time. Um, so I am also immune. I, uh, like, I put on that brave face. Apparently everyone in my chat is an MST3K fan. I and push through it for videos, but those videos wreck me for like days and weeks. And then there are weeks that I'm just not able where... I can barely walk, and sometimes I need to, you know, get by with a walking cane, okay? So I actually am coming from this, from someone who has a diagnosed disability. Yeah, and I am Oz, and a lot of people aren't aware that that's a full disability. (laughs) (laughs) But Uh you you have ADD. ADHD type C, combined type, which is everything. (laughs) Um, And mine's kind of the opposite to yours. Well, I have that too. Are we disabled because we have ADHD? Because if that's if if that's what he is agreeing is a disability and we're just I think I don't know. I think it can be disabling. I think these things have I think there's gradients to this shit. Like how disabled is it? Uh like how disabled are you by it rather? Like it's 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 definitely a gradient. Well, because of how so- society is structured. Right. Like I think I think uh we should use disability for people that like it's either it's either describing all the different myriad ways that your body can be bad, pretty much, <laughs> or it describes a step further than, uh, you know, just just being hurt or something. It, it it describes like a chronic thing. That's usually how I use it and how I see it. ADHD disabled. I mean, ADHD is absolutely a thing that Fuck. I fight with. Bye. But I wouldn't consider that a disability of mine. I would cons- I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I would consider my Anki's a disability, though. It's pretty... It sucks. Uh, this whole time I've been theory crafting a Lancer on a wheelchair. It took me 0.5 seconds to find inspiration from the idea of a wheelchair in D&D. Right, yeah. I mean, they have those already. I didn't sleep last night. Chronic yeah. ADHD? I don't think it's... I don't think there's a version of ADHD that isn't chronic. I've never felt more alive, you know? <laughs> So, yeah. So alive, you decided to come to work four hours early. <laughs> well, I didn't sleep last night. I lost track of time. 
<laughs> so, as a disabled person, right, if I had the option to overcome my disability, I would take it instantly. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. So that's how some people work. Uh, I would definitely get my ankles fixed, but that's because it's like, it hurts me, right? But Cure Wounds isn't going to fix my chronic ankle pain. Might give me some relief, though. Uh, imagine if there was, like, magical healing in the world. Yeah, so Cure Wounds, the spell Cure Wounds. All right, chat. We're about to get in the fucking weeds because your boy, your boy knows everything about this fucking game now. All right? I'm, I'm too deep in. I literally have PDFs on my computer at the ready. I didn't have to open this for this stream. This is ready to go. Okay? I got spells. I got all sorts of shit. We got cure wounds down here in the C section. I don't know. Nope. A little too far. A first level evocation. Uh, you regain hit points. So, uh, you regain hit points. The way This cannot heal chronic issues. This is not a spell that can do that. Uh... Depending on your setting, it may be more or less available, but Cure Wounds is something that is like, oh, I got a cut on my finger, let me boop, and the cut will go away, right? Oh, I broke my ankle recently, boop, you can you can try to fix it with Cure Wounds. I would say any lingering, uh, and, and the rules is written, this is just hit points, this does not affect your like growing back or fixing body parts that are fucked up like if you lose your arm cure wounds does not grow back an arm okay to grow back an arm and shit takes very high level healing i mean that would be like regeneration which is all the way down here there's reincarnate which is if you die and come back regenerate is a seventh level seventh level spell Go. Where is it at? Oh, right there. You touch a creature and simulate stimulate its natural healing ability. The target regains 48 plus 15 hit points. For the duration of the spell, the target regains one hit point at the start of each of his turns. Uh, target severed body members, fingers, legs, tails, and so on, if any, are restored after two minutes. If you have the severed part and hold it to the stump, the spell instantaneously causes the limb to knit to the stump. Yeah. So 13th level caster. So someone like that has access to teleportation. This is this is as common as the teleport spell, which is not common. People are not teleporting all over the place. If they are, your power creep is nuts and you're setting your bad rider, personally. <laughs> or I mean, I guess you know you just have to you just have to make be okay with that. But in that case, uh, it would be pay gated, right? Because they're still capitalists. I mean, there's lots of reasons in the universe that wouldn't be available. Anyway, that's my that's my short spiel on why. He's stupid for this. That could heal my ailment. Curing paralysis. Paralysis. The Hold on. Curing paralysis is lesser restoration, but that's not paralysis. That is the status effect paralysis, which is much more like being stunned. That is not physical spinal paralysis. Uh, not at all what that is describing in the book. Yeah. Paralysis uh, is fucking very different. Paralysis is in D and D typically brought upon by, uh, you know, failing a wisdom save uh, and someone like, you know, uses a psychic blast or something to stop you, um, <clears throat> getting hit in your chakras or something. Are you implying Shad of all people doesn't read things? Yes, most people couldn't afford it. Right, I agree. Gr like greater resto might do something there. I don't even know. Let's look. It costs a hundred gold pieces, which by the way is like over a month's worth of wages according to like the the way that you in the PHB um, calculate wealth uh, so very so this is like this is essentially like having to spend a thousand dollars gold is essentially put another zero behind it that's kind of the dollar value uh, you imbue a creature you touch positive energy to undo a debilitating effect charmed petrified a curse Reduction to ability scores, reducing hit point maximum. This does not change. No, he had to do seventh level spell. So I would say uh, something like regeneration would be needed for, um, like, your spine breaking, or just having. I mean, not everyone's broken spine when they're paralyzed or whatever, but you know what I'm saying. Um, like, if you have if you have 
real paralysis, not status paralysis, which will wear off naturally without any medical intervention. If you have actual medical paralysis, you were born with it or you had an accident or something, that's a seventh level spell minimum. Wish, maybe, depending on how it's happened. With the kind of healing Shad wants, you wouldn't have the cool scar that makes your character look like a badass. That's right, scars make you badass. I would take that. What's more badass, a fighter covered in scars or one that has never experienced one? Hmm? And it would seem a little unrealistic that you wouldn't take that opportunity. Because one of the things about disability is that we need to learn to live with them. But if we could, you know, overcome them in any way, and we sometimes we work in our lives to be able to overcome them or do better, all right? Um, if we had that opportunity... When I got to that level of power in D&D game, my cleric was the highest level cleric of his god on the continent. Do they think every time there's a high priest, Pickles just hanging out in the... Co right? This is the mindset that tries to cure autism, right? People, would you agree, would, would take that opportunity? Yeah, I would probably climb over the disabled people that were blocking my path if I could overcome them. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Wow. I absolutely. want to be stronger and not use my yeah. uh, disability as a crutch. And personally, I cool, dude. like don't need to see my disability represented in media okay okay and yeah personally you don't uh no one's saying they need to um but people in wheelchairs exist and can play fantasy games totally fine if you are a disabled person and wanted and, and we were you were a player in my campaign and you wanted to have someone with with uh super fast running legs it'd be totally fine i have no idea why you just not having super fast running legs is a bad thing you don't have to have legs I don't care at all. You could literally have stumps, no wheelchair, and use your arms to run around, and I'd be fine. I don't give a fuck. You can have any kind of uh, disability you want or abledness you want. Uh, I'm here to fulfill player fantasy and make sure that that's a good time. If you would like to see yourself in a wheelchair represented in your game, do it. Very easy to handle. You could, like, I have no problem with also having it come up in gameplay uh it could it could totally be a thing where where maybe that thing has hit points and it gets it gets busted or something i don't know you could do it a lot of different ways it also doesn't have to be a physical wheelchair it could be like imagine if uh you just could could float and hover all over the place that'd be cool as fuck now kind of it wouldn't make sense to have a knight suffering from chronic fatigue in a film in a fantasy mm. film although it would be kind of interesting cool. to see Basically, any character suffering from ADHD, we're generally pretty, you know... Yeah. Villain spider chair, let's go. Ooh. I think you could do ADD in a film. Yeah. Like that, that, that could work. Uh -huh. um, but, okay, so this uh, this tweet appeared online. Uh, okay. And it's... They, they have <coughs> a magic user in a wheelchair, and it says, Accepting the existence of magic in fantasy settings should not be easier than accepting the existence of a disabled people in a fantasy setting. I agree. This is pretty cool art, too. And it's, it's not saying that there might be people with certain disabilities in a fantasy setting mm. this is about an adventuring heroic character uh-huh okay um you say are you saying that people in wheelchairs can't be heroic i disagree it's so strange in a wheelchair might make it a bit more difficult like i it might make it a bit more difficult isn't that interesting to overcome that and be an adventurer anyways wow a character with difficulties that's so odd. So these guys hate Bloodborne? I've never played it. I saw that you said that there was a wheelchair in it. Uh, there's a wizard nation in my setting that has a lot of casters. The majority are, use mundane arcane powers. The higher power spells are kept behind levels of bureaucracy. The only emperor is allowed to specialize in regeneration, magic, and evocation school. Interesting. Certain disabilities, and this is just the unfortunate reality, exclude you from doing certain things. Yeah, but not not having a wheelchair. Sure. There you go. It's worked. You're good to go. All my Skyrim characters look like they have Down Syndrome. Why is that? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and the dragon bun! Wow. Good stuff, Shad. This is great. Dude, I thought we left this shit behind in, like, the 90s. Yeah, this is pretty... You brought this fucking guy on to do this? Alright, we're gonna power through. First right there! <laughs> it's not because you don't want to see yourself in the game. <laughs> What are you represented? <laughs> oh man! But I'm just sitting here thinking, wheelchair access. How are you gonna get to High Rothgar on the throat of the world in Skyrim? It's not. You're gonna you're gonna use your wheelchair to get up there, man. 
High Hrothgar and Skyrim. He brings up Skyrim a lot. Skyrim is not the setting to your D&D campaign, probably, Let's right? Screw it. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Sid. Sad. Oh, we'll there, exactly. There's a couple of things that an adventurer needs to do that being in a wheelchair makes it a bit difficult. That You need to be a little bit more creative, my dog. It's just the first thing. Mm. Yeah, maybe there wasn't magic for them to be healed or as a permanent thing. That would kind of... Ex and the odd thing is, uh -huh. this is fantasy. Yeah. You do not need to be in a wheelchair when you make a character. Mm. Uh, and I see very... Oh, man. The tweet went right over your head. Yeah, it's fantasy. If your fantasy includes yourself being in a wheelchair, that's part of it. Or just another character. Any character that has a wheelchair, that's fine. Do you hate Professor X, dude? Like, what? Very, what very few people who actually have a disability saying, I want to see myself represented. For the ma vast majority, it seems... Okay, so it's there's a few of them, and there they go. Why do you have a problem with it? Is it a fucking popular vote? It's not, by the way. You can have whatever game you want. ...to be really overly sensitive, virtue signaling, you know... How is this not what you're doing? You're being overly sensitive and virtue signaling while this fucking just exists as a concept art and some people play a game with a wheelchair in it. This is you virtue signaling. He blocked me on Twitter, by the way, because he's a fucking pussy. White women, usually, but it uh, doesn't need to be. But, but it's the people who are pushing mm -hmm. the woke agenda where I want to show just how accepting I am of everyone that is pushing this. And and then people with the disability get offended by it. But it's like, hang on, are you saying that I want my disability to be a, a permanent thing and that I celebrate it? It's like, so did you hear what happened with Doctor Who recently? No. Okay, so they, Davros is a bad guy in Doctor Who. He's the guy who created the Daleks. Really bad. <laughs> We're talking about Doctor Who lore. person who made the rules is a wheelchair user. No, 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 no. He doesn't care. He doesn't care that the wheelchair is... <laughs> he He's mad that you're included. Well, this guy doesn't really emotionally comprehend that everyone acts like get out of the wheelchair is the end goal but when you literally physically camp for the rest of your life. Maybe you just want to feel like it's not a big deal to be in a wheelchair, actually. You aren't failing the goal of healing out of a wheelchair. Right, yeah. One of the most badass characters on Critical Role is doing the magical snowmobile wheelchair. I do not remember that. Go. Cool. But I like Crit, crit Roll. I haven't, well, I haven't been up to date in a while. Walking stick, but it's also an immovable rod. Sounds cool. Walking sticks are fine, but you can't have a wheelchair. <laughs> You can have you can have certain disability aids. Are you saying that this is the this is the Twitter account? I already follow Mark Thompson. This is the this is the Twitter account. One dollar. Sarah posted in chat if you want to follow. All fancy characters ever are just able bodied turn turns out. That's right. You can't have a single character with any disability. That's right. Well, actually, you can, but they have to be aesthetically appealing to him. Yeah is effectively in a wheelchair, but it's actually the bottom half of a Dalek. Oh, I did see this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, They took him out of that because they felt it was ableist, meaning it was, I don't know, bigoted against disabled people. It is. To have an evil character what? in a wheelchair. Oh, no. It's not, but I mean, like, often evil characters are depicted as some kind of disabled or deformed or some shit. Uh, and so that's it. I, don't, I didn't hear anyone bitch about Davros, though. I didn't hear that at all. I was watching... I've watched a lot of Doctor Who. I've never heard people say Davros is fucking, like, ableist or anything. Never once. Mr. Glass from Unbreakable. You know, he was a great one. Okay, like, it can be done, but this was just bizarre. And the fact that they did that offended a lot of people in wheelchairs. Yeah. Like, like who have that physical disabilities. And then they had this person... Dagan, why can't I remember Dagan? ...person in a wheelchair who has, like, rockets shooting out. This is a separate person and everything. And, uh, again... It, Again? Felt, it came off as pandering to people who actually have this disability. Yeah. It's like, hang on, my disability isn't something to be celebrated or or something to want to have, right? If they could overcome their disability, they would, all right? Overcome their disability. I do not believe that about every single person that is in a wheelchair. Some of them, like, are not in, interested cool. at all. Like, there are blind people who don't want to see there are deaf people that don't want to hear uh i you know just because we don't understand how that feels doesn't mean that it's not a valid take you can live your life how you want imagine thinking this is not aesthetically pleasing whoa a walking goat chair that's dope 
That's what I'm talking about. Uh, one of the most interesting TTRPG roleplay I've ever had was with someone who's unable to speak, and my character just happened uh, to know sign. Uh, so our character immediately had chemistry. It was a magic-only theater of the mind TTRPG. Yeah, man. It's dope. He was a scout they hired towards the end of campaign two. Oh, I do remember. Yes. I do remember. And the ice dragon uh, waylaid them on their way to uh, Eos, I think. Was it Eos? And guess what? When you make a fantasy character, you can make them without that disability in a way to overcome it, right? Did you hear yourself? You can make your character that way. Isn't it crazy that you can make your character any any way you want? Yeah. And Aeor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantasy is all about. Mm -hmm. It's about, again, it's the, the heroic sort of, yeah. you know, it's a different realm, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not current era. <laughs> really Do you not. know there are some people in the world that actually want to be disabled? Wowzers, dude. That picture I sent is from a series called Witch Hat Atelier. Two of the characters are disabled in the anime is coming out later this year. Nice. Yeah, I've seen this. And, and some uh, licensed doctors have helped them do it. Which okay, so. Uh, typically, if you seek to be disabled, there's some kind of like... There's some kind of like unhealthy association with the idea of being disabled. That said, I don't give a fuck what you do with your body. I do not care. If you choose to have your body a way that you want it, including cutting your fucking legs, arms and limbs off, I'll, I'll go extreme. You could be, you could literally just cut off perfectly healthy arm meat, and I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Uh, if that would, if that truly would make you happy, do it. You have one life to live, and if you want to do it as a just a torso guy, I'm down. I couldn't possibly be upset at you for choosing your happiness it wouldn't make me happy but i i don't understand why i would i would have lots of questions you know i would definitely be like hey why do you want to have your arms and legs cut off that's not a normal very typical situation for people to have and then if you talk to me about it irrespective of my opinion on the at the end i want you to be able to do it if it would make you happy yeah i mean this is cool Based on designs for, like, uh, wheelchair basketball and shit. Which is insane. Yeah. And it's a... To, their desire to actually want to be disabled, to either mutilate them, sometimes they want to be an amputee. and they Mutilate themselves. I don't care. Call it mutilation actual, if you want. Don't, I don't give a fuck. We get here. That's a mental illness. Someone... It can be. It can be. Sure. I have no idea what makes someone happy or sad. There are not a lot of people that want to have their limbs cut off, as you can see by the lack of people with their limbs cut off for like aesthetic purposes but i also don't give a fuck i don't know how many more times i can say people's bodily autonomy supersedes what i would do with my body it's almost like it's not happening there's been like a handful of people ever that i've seen like "Ooh, strange but true this person wants this or that done with their body wouldn't you not do that and it's like yeah i probably wouldn't do that don't care wanting to chop off a body limb i'm hmm. going to stop right there <laughs> cool man uh, I don't think that seeing a wheelchair in a uh, fantasy setting is going to make someone be like, you know what? I wish I didn't have any fucking legs. Fuck legs. You, c I could be a wheelchair wizard in D and D. Then I don't want real legs in real life because wheelchair wizard in D and D exists. Not really how people are thinking. IMO. I'm just sorry. There's <laughs> something that's playing over again in my head. There's I two jokes. I, yeah, yeah. Um. I think oh, people cool. can let's get the cool jokes out. Understand. I like chopping off body limbs. I just feel body probably limbs. not the best idea. That's, that's you know. You might want to hold on to that in case you want to respec later. Respec or reclass. Re respec later. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. But there are people who want to have disabilities, right? And uh, this is kind of like celebrating the disability. Mm. Where Cel depicting a disability is, does not have to be celebration of it. Like, no one, this does not say, I'm going to cover him because I'd rather look at Shad, I guess. Uh, this does not say you should get your legs uh, to not work. You know what I mean? This is celebrating if your legs don't work, you can be a wizard too. And you can. You can. You can be a fighter. You can be a ranger. You be a rogue. It won't matter. It will not matter. Like, why do we have to put down people who are disabled? I don't know. This doesn't make sense. They're implying disabled people are disgusting. I mean, yeah, they're implying that like you have to keep it hidden. But it's actually, it's a thing to understand that people, you know, have these 
things that they deal with that they would choose to overcome. He's okay? so and, ignorant. That's not the case. And uh, kind of instilling it or accepting it. Okay, choose to overcome, except that they, in some cases, can't. And so even in their fantasies, depict themselves and their self-insert characters, which literally D&D is, right? They want aspects of themselves mirrored in the fantasy realm. This is amazing and dope. You can have peg legs and hook arms, but you can't have a fucking... You can have walking sticks. You can have a wheelchair? Nah, I'm good, dude. That's so stupid. Injecting it into fantasy now is kind of like in the same narrative of celebrating it and encouraging people that, you know, never overcome. It's just going to be that way. Never and overcome. It's just... You can't necessarily just overcome being in a wheelchair. It might just be that way. Yeah. It's 100% fine to do this i oh my god i think te technology is evolving in vast incredible ways do you know that there are maybe we could fix all paralysis walk, right? mm. that can use exoskeletons mm. to actually get around exoskeletons like nice a on a dude who is actually able to see with it you yeah know? yeah like crazy stuff helping people overcome disabilities right mm. magic might might just be one of those things mm. okay and so this tweet got around and uh, i think one of the replies was kind of funny um did you want to read this one <laughs> sarah drink the f health potion and walk i'm tired of you being a liability just because you think it'll be ableist to cure yourself steve nearly got stabbed to death last week because you couldn't get up the stairs in time is this funny i'm just picturing like like this right it's like okay he's like <laughs> For Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the joke? Are now, these funny? There are some elements of health potions aren't going to fix your legs. There's definitely not. Of the enjoyment of the fantasy. Yeah, it's just ableism. I agree. Genre where, of course, you would absolutely make provision for it. Live action role play. Mm. Okay, you don't want to exclude people who have disabilities from enjoying live action role play and stuff like that. And so I would happily construct the reality to try and accommodate them mm. for the setting right but in an actual narrative based thing where you are not acting something out and you can be anyone sky's the limit okay mm. you can see why people are like not only does this not make sense it comes off as pandering and insulting it doesn't <laughs> this is pandering and insulting what you're doing is pandering and insulting <laughs> you're pandering to people in an ostensibly right-wing conservative base, which I don't know why they have this take. I, I mean, I guess it's just a, just anti-disability rhetoric. They all... It's crazy how conservatives have every fucking wrong opinion about everything all the time. They can never just run into a correct opinion. This is like fucking liberty. You know what I mean? With a, with a nice enunciated T in it. Liberty. Not liberty. Okay. This is... This is, you, you can't fucking tell people what their characters are, man. <laughs> like, fuck off. Eat dog shit. People with disability. Although Empathy is left wing? I guess fucking so. I always respect those gamers out there who, plick, who pick uh, uh, male warrior stock standard every time. You gotta respect it. It's fun. I yeah. kind of do that a lot. Yeah. I mean, my favorite character class is human, warrior, fighter, usually. It could be a knight, it could be a mercenary, an archer, but... Human is my most default character class, that I, uh, sorry, race that I go to. I always pick elf. Wow, cool, man. Because you're boring. Right. Dude, I saw some wild stuff on... I don't know what that is. Because I want to know what it would be like to live with that body mass index, because I'll never reach it. <laughs> <laughs> elf BMI? So, it's bizarre. So it's interesting that you just said, like, the reason I choose elf is because I would like my character to look a certain way. And Shad said, I, I am a human because I like my character to look a certain way. Hmm. Do you think I like my character to look a certain way could apply to this? Can you extend I want my character to look a certain way to other people and how they might want to go about it? No? Ah, this kind of ableist narrative is now jumping the shark and going too far. How is this? It's not ableist to include people in wheelchairs. That is the opposite of ableism. To the fact that people with disabilities are legitimately getting insulted with mm. it it's like hang on are you telling me that i wouldn't want to overcome this and and then there are people who celebrate the disability and would choose to be disabled over being normal those are not the two groups of people for what then mm. no it's a bunch of normal people being like yeah you can have a wheelchair 
in D&D, and a bunch of non-normal people, psychos, freaks, saying, no, you can't. You're the you're the psychos and freaks, man. It's it's just just is what it is. Like like I'm genuinely I would I like I, if people want to be disabled, why? Cool. So I mean, I just story flavor a game, right? Yeah. But uh, there is one time it was done pretty well. Brand Stark, I'm sure you would agree. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. But that was again for the story itself. Yes. You know, like um, yeah. I'm not because I'm not saying it can't fit into a story mm. narrative way, but this is like saying. You must, if you do not put, like, this is this, if, if you do not, you know, open up your vision to have people with disabilities or in wheelchairs in a fantasy setting, you're just being ableist. Mm. It's like, no. Have you seen the meme uh, where it's like, uh, you can accept, you know, elves and dwarves, but you can't accept the new, like, Tesla in Lord of the Rings? Have you seen that one? <laughs> it's the same thing. Man. It is the same thing. It's like, hang on, these worlds have in... have. I love... I love doing this because you're not confident in what you're saying or this content and how it's going, and you just keep sort of like receding. Consistency with their rules, okay? Mm. And that's why having, say, uh, like dark-skinned elves in Lord of the Rings doesn't fit that setting. It does. It really does fit the setting. They're doing a Rings of Power situation. It absolutely fits the setting. It's totally fine. But having dark skin elves in Dungeons and Dragons. I wonder. I want to ask the guy on the left, which is Shadowversity, uh, if he has ever imagined a character of his wearing glasses. Right, dude. Modeling. True. This is. I mean, without glasses, I'm definitely at a disability. Right. I can't. I literally can't read chat. I do have beautiful blue peepers, though. Let's see how close I have to get to chat to see it. I'm not gonna squint. Okay, it's literally about this much. About to the end of my pinky. That's not very far. Until I don't see... Yeah. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Here you go. For you, chat. Whoosh! Okay, that's my eyes. That's my, that's my, that's my raw dogged eyes. It's like Cyclops. Dragons are filled. That's not great. It's not great. It's not great. A oh, wooga. Perfectly fine. Yeah, or even Skyrim, the Dark Elves. Exactly. Crowd, you know? uh, like, setting sets the rules. Mm. And... Mm. So, Drow... What is Salami? Drow are not, like... Like, Black Elves. Drow are... Drow are not, um... Not doing that. He's talking about a black actor playing an elf in Rings of Power. Who was great, by the way. So good. Fantastic character. Uh, didn't think at all about how he was a black guy until I heard people talking about how he was a black guy, like these two specifically. She's a she's a black actress playing a dwarf, and they both are really, like, literally stealing scenes every time they're in. Really great stuff. Love that show. We're going to be watching it. Cyclops, isn't he a disabled person in fantasy? Technically, a l most mutants have some form of, like, what you would call a disability due to the f their conflict of... Uh, their powers and how it affects their ability to live, like rogue. They're trying to say that you're able. Aren't the drow super matriarchal? The drow are ma super matriarchal. In fact, th the drow have queendoms in my setting. If your setting simply doesn't allow for people in wheelchairs about I, or, or disabilities, like, but a lot of the settings have ways to overcome it. And then, even if it didn't, there's the reality that being an adventurer kind of means you have to get around. You have to climb stuff sometimes. Imagine. You have to run away from dragons. Yeah, on a wheelchair. Iron God coming up to you and be like, I was an adventurer like you. <laughs> Took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> the dragon's coming after them and it bites. Like, You're just <laughs> ableist picking on the person. With the <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so it's not ableist for a dragon to eat somebody in a wheelchair. Uh, if you play D&D &D in a wheelchair, you can die in the game. You know? Holy shit. That's pretty dope. Is this a bad guy? Bloodborne. Uh, bonkers. This is just where the whole... I am so desperate to virtue signal and... You are! present myself as being inclusive so much where they go... This is a virtue signal, bro! Far, and they end up actually being insulting to it. And that's the kind of trend you see with the mm. woke mob. Uh -huh. And you watch... Like, the woke do mob is doing this. Video games. I heard they were going to put Zoe Quinn in Shogun. And she was going to make a samurai commit seppuku. Haha. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Very in line with the character, that. Eh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, just the the bit of news that's been going on, on online, and they, uh, as we already mentioned, they just show themselves how insanely uh, their mind has been warped for this woke propaganda, and uh, they're desperate to virtue signal at every point that they will then insult the people. Me, I saw like I've chronic fatigue. I didn't like. This is virtue signaling, Shad. It's crazy how he doesn't think he's virtue signaling. Of course he doesn't, right? It's deeply cringe. Do you get that? That's a fucked up joke. I don't understand it now. So his ex killed himself? He was abusive? What the fuck, dude? It, I, as a disabled person, it doesn't make sense for an adventurer to have it. It does actually make sense for an adventurer to have fuck! it. Fuck! Bicycles! So he says to use magic to remove your disability, but you can't possibly use magic to fly, teleport, transform, etc.? Yeah, I'm... And I don't want myself to see, I don't need representation in that sense. I, this is something I want to overcome. Mm. It's difficult, I'm not sure if I ever will, but I'm always going to be trying to. Cool. What spell would you cast to fix chronic fatigue? There wouldn't be a, a solve for that. There's no spell in D&D that fixes chronic fatigue. What do you guys think? As always, very interested to hear your thoughts. Share them in the comments below, and as always, stay on watch. You two should fight each other with swords, says my chat. Feel like I agree. Feel like I agree. <laughs> Enervate. There you go. <laughs> uh, man. That's really super fucking ableist. That's deeply ableist. That might, be, that might be the most ableist content we've watched in ages? My wild mage had epilepsy? That is a great affliction for a wild mage to have. Can I fight go them with swords? You have my permission. 